to the bipartisan infrastructure deal struck between Congress and President Joe Biden. The White House says if approved, it would include money to replace all of the lead service lines and pipes across the country. That includes an estimated 270,000 of them in Texas alone. Political reporter Jack Fink found the city of Fort Worth has been working on this issue now for years. For five years now, crews with the Fort Worth Water Department have been digging up and replacing lead service lines across the city. The service lines connect homes and businesses to the water main. The city started doing so as the federal government discussed a new rule requiring water systems to develop an inventory of lead service lines and pipes. But let's go ahead and determine how much lead do we really have in our system? Because we didn't know the answer to that question. And this is how the city identifies whether a service line has lead in it. Crews go inside each water meter box in the city. The city says through last month, out of its more than 277,000 water meters, crews have inspected 88% of them. They found more than 1,800 of its service lines had lead. And so far, crews have replaced nearly 1,500 of them. The city also found lead in only 10 homes and businesses' private service lines. Fort Worth is ahead of the game. The federal government's new rule goes into effect this December, and all water systems will be required to report lead service lines and pipes three years after that. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says the infrastructure deal will help water systems across the country. It will replace all of those pipes, uh, and that is absolutely our plan. That's going to put a lot of people back to work in Texas. It's also going to make sure kids have access to clean drinking water. The city of Fort Worth says after checking the water meters at schools, it didn't find any lead in its service lines there. The city says it notifies all of its customers when it identifies and replaces lead service lines and offers a free test for lead in the water. In Fort Worth, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.